All right. <clears throat> so we're getting ready uh, for a big game against Pittsburgh. You know, they've got a terrific defense, um, very stout 3-4. Um, second in the league and three and outs. Offensively, obviously, Roethlisberger can still uh, fling it all over the place. Big, strong back, um, good on special teams. Um, so we're going to play good. So questions? Adam Thielen? Yeah. I don't I don't know. Just moving around a little bit. Within, uh, hour, is that an indication you expect him then to return this season at some point? Yeah. Where's the, where's the team at, Mike, right now after that after that tough loss? Um, you know, it's always hard at the first day out, but uh, they seem to be pretty good today. Xavier Woods said maybe a short week. Is that maybe a kind of a blessing in disguise? Get it out of your minds quicker than maybe if that loss had lingered the whole week or something? Yeah, we got to get focused quickly on this game. Short week, uh, a lot of preparation in a short week, um, extra extra film study, more mental than it is physical this week. Mike, how well do you know Mike Tomlin? And uh, just describe what his stamp on your profession has been. Um, you know, I don't know him great. I mean, I know from competing against him, and uh, you know, he's always been a gentleman. Um, he's always stood for the right things. Um, you know, he's on. He's been on the competition committee, so we've had some conversations. But um, you know, I think he does. I think he does things the right way. He does. Uh, you know, his team plays the right way, and so. Um, no, I have a lot of respect for him. And you know the nature of this profession. It's you know three head coaches in 52 years. I mean, can you put into words? Uh, what <laughs> yeah, it's how it should be. <laughs> Mike, do you think you'll keep the same offensive line combination going forward for this game? Did you like what you saw? Uh, we'll see if the guys are healthy. They didn't do. They didn't. All right, though. There's Anthony. Was named uh, community man of the year. Walter Payton nominee, what's, what's it meant to see him kind of grow into that role and become more comfortable being a leader in this community and all the challenges he's faced the past year plus? Yeah, he's, um, <clears throat> you know, he was our first, my first draft pick and uh, he's an unbelievable person. Um, number one, he's got a great family. Um, you know, his foundation does, does terrific things for, for the community and for um, single moms. But, uh, you know, as far as a football player, when he's out there, everything is much calmer. He communicates so well with everybody, and, and he's a good player. Mike, what, what do you see just in T.J. Watt and how he impacts offenses just kind of by himself? Yeah, he's, he's a game wrecker. He's not by himself. They got, they got some other guys, too, but he's a game wrecker. You know, he always seems to make big plays. Um, obviously a terrific rusher, but he's, he's very violent and physical. Have you seen any difference in, there's been so many heartbreaks for this team, like the first couple in the beginning of the year compared to where you're at now? I mean, do these guys bounce back the same way, or is it adding up at all? No, I don't think so. I mean, um, you know, they uh, all year long it's been, you know, last play of the game, here, there, win, lose, whatever. But, um, you know, I, I don't see any difference in their in their attitude or their, the way they go about, you know, the meetings and, and practice and things like that. They come out here and walkthroughs and, you know, they focus pretty good. Would you characterize this as a must win on Thursday? No, they're all must wins. And just you touched upon it after the game Sunday, your thoughts on you should get some defensive players back. I mean, Barr, Peterson, Brett, Kendricks, just your thoughts on Yeah, we hope so. We'll see. might limit you a little bit when you didn't have Anthony in there as far as the playbook, what you can call defensively. Is that the same when you didn't have Kendricks, too, as far as just not having both of those well, guys? Well, it's just diff different players, you know, when, when you got, you know, two really good linebackers in there. And, you know, now you're <clears> – <throat> you find out, you know, day before the game, they, some guys got to play different spots, so it's tough on them. Mike, there have been some uh, sloppy games on Thursday night in the NFL because of short week preparation. Uh, what – what can you do to get to make that week work well? That that it's not that kind of game. Yeah, well, you know, it's, you know, I don't know about the sloppy games. I don't watch them or anything like that. But I I do know that, um, you know, we've talked about being detailed about, you know, every little thing this week. Your alignments, your techniques, your um, where you're supposed to be, your assignments in each and every every. Uh, Offense or defense and play, and so I think that's that's the most important thing is the uh, is the 
the details of what we have to get done this week. We obviously see the the Excuse flashy. Me? We obviously see the the flashier plays that that Blake Lynch made. I guess after going back and watching his whole game, just what did you think about his performance? Yeah, I think he did pretty good. Um, you know, I've been so focused on on Pittsburgh though that's hard to, you know, watch the game on the plane coming back, and then it was all it's been all Pittsburgh since then. How different is Roethlisberger at this point of his career? I mean, there's a report he might this might be it. Like, I mean, now versus the other years that you faced him. Um, really not much, honestly. Um, you know, he's he's really good with uh, seeing the pressures and where the site is and where the hots are and um, getting the ball out. You know, maybe he doesn't run quite as much as he used to. He was never really a runner. He was, but he's a strong physical guy to get on the ground. He's still got a, you know, still throws a deep ball great. Um, you know, very, very smart and savvy in where he wants to go with the ball and, and uh, get him in the right plays a ton of times. So he does a lot of checking at the line of scrimmage. So hopefully our, our crowd will be nice and loud. Um, but uh, I, I really don't see that much difference in him. Good arm. You know, the, the passing game is very similar to what it has been for a long time. Maybe a few more RPOs than uh, they, when I was there, but, um, you know, he's good. Like, what, what do you expect from the crowd on Thursday? I expect them to be the same. They always are. Mike, how much of the game plan for a guy like Mika Fitzpatrick, who seems to just be all over the field at every point of the game? Yeah, they've changed a little bit with their with some of their schemes that they're doing now, and and you know he he's he's very instinctive, can come off a guy, so we have to be careful about where he's where he's at all the time. Time for two more. Like when it comes to Roethlisberger. When the quarterback has sort of command of a franchise for so long, I mean, is is there is there something to that, like a belief in him that they have because they've had some games where they've really fallen apart and then bounced back pretty quickly after that? I'm I'm sure they believe in him, but um, you know he's he's um, you know been there for for so long, and I think that's part of the longevity of of what they've been able to do there. But they've they've also been good on defense, and Tomlin does a great job. So um, you know he's he's been. You know, for all the time when I was in Cincinnati and played against him, he was always a tough out. Except TJ Watts, you know, defensive player of the year caliber type player. Um, you know, he's he's number one. He's smart, great rusher, uh, quick off the line of scrimmage, um, good power, um, and then uh, you know I think he sees things really well. You know, most most great players see. You know, they have really good vision, so they see a lot of different things. Um, you know. He, Fights through chips and understands where the protection's going, things like that. It, 